So let's go rather quickly how we can change and improve the fan on the DOF LED 575. So first, of course, we need an LED lamp and we need a new fan. I use a Noctua Redux uh, 1800. We need an adapter from our normal fan connector to the JSC connector inside the lamp. And we will need uh, longer screws because the stuck ones are not long enough with the new fan and a screwdriver. First off, we have to get up, get out these two screws on the top here. And while we're at it, we will also disassemble this screw here. So on the other side, it's just the same. We get off this screw and the other. and the one here. So now we can not only get off the top here and have a look inside the lamp, we can also disassemble the whole front of the lamp. So here we can now see the electronics uh, within the, the lamp. We have the fuse here and this is the fan connector. So we will unplug it right away. This is a JST connector with two poles, uh, two and a half millimeter. And then we will just disassemble the fan here. So on on the back of the fan, we can actually see what kind of fan this is. So we can look up the values of the performance of the fan so we get something equal. This fan now has um, a performance of around 60 uh, cubic meters per hour uh, of air transported. And the Noctua I'm using here has around 43 cubic meters an hour. So it's not the same, but if you use a higher performance fan, you usually get a much louder one and this um, wouldn't make sense to switch it out then. What you can see is that while this is a normal 80 millimeter case fan you would use inside your computer, it's much, it's much slimmer than a normal one. So this is why the screws won't work again. However, I just use normal wood screws, a bit longer, around a centimeter longer. Um, that's, I guess, around half an inch. And I like to, to get the cable around like this, so it's not in the way when we use it, um, because it's a bit long inside the, the, the casing. I will just get it here, and I like to get the screw um, to keep the cable in place so um, basically you have to watch out that you don't do it like me because here there are borders and here is not so let's screw it tight where there are no borders on the fan I was a bit dumb here and I'll also only use two screws because this is more than enough to keep it in place there are no need for four and there's also no need for the protector. We don't really need that. In case you have no idea about case fans, um, this side where the label is, is the side where the air comes out. So basically it gets in here and out there. So this is why we get it uh, this way. So this is an adapter cable from a normal um, fan connector. This is a three pin Molex with only two pins attached to a two pin JST connector with two and a half millimeter between these two. And this is standard connector. And I got this adapter cable with my CPU fan from Noctua also, as you can see here, um, when I bought it. So I don't had, didn't have to do anything. You can of course also um, cut down this cable and solder a new wire to your fan or you could um, buy something like this readily available. It's up to you. I just like the readily available ones. It's really cheap to buy one of those too. So we just plug it in, plug it in and then we get this back on top here and 
get all screws in place and that's it. We're done.